everybody, welcome in. Drums by Liz here. I'd like to show you a crossover pattern today, okay? It really, you can think about this a couple different ways. We can be real strict with our counting in 16th note formula as one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, okay? I think you're gonna come back to your snare drum on B4 and you have four notes there, okay? Now a different way to think about it, just a little bit different mathematic change up. Think of threes, okay? So one, two, three, 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 four. Okay, so you have four threes. Four times three is 12. That'll take you to the end of B3. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Those are four notes, three beats, so that equals 12. And then we end up at our fourth beat as 16th notes again. Four notes, okay? Four E and a. Okay? So you're in threes. One, two, three, 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 four. Kind of thing, okay? So one E and a, two E and a, E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, E and a. Okay, so you heard me counting. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Those are my notes that I'm going to be hitting up to that small tom-tom, okay? Remember when you start, you're actually crossed, okay? So you're starting up on that high tom, then you're on your floor tom. Now you could do this in between your two high toms, the mid and the floor, two floor toms, wherever you want to go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, as a change up for yourself, okay? Maybe you can see that pattern a little bit better up there again, okay? So really slow. How, if someone gets stuck on this, I tell them, just think like you're playing triplets, but you're putting that first note note up to the tom-tom. So even if we thought of it as triplet, 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 we can think about it like that at, at the start, okay? Now, of course, it's harder getting it into that polyrhythm, okay? So now we have to, again, kind of think of our foot pattern, okay? Put that into place and think on top of your foot pattern, what is your hand pattern, okay? Accentuate in your voice where you're gonna be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so again, obviously is to get your feet to stay steady as your hands have to do all of that, okay? After a while, this will get so comfortable, it's like riding a bike. You don't think about it at all. Right? And it becomes pretty easy for us, okay? All right, so let's get through that pattern. One, two, and a two. Okay, there we are. I'm on beat two. You notice what I did. I'm just trying to go now gravitate one beat at a time, okay? Get yourself to the second beat, check and make sure, am I in the right spot? Am I on the right hand? Are my feet all together with me? So one E and a two E and a, one E and a two E and a, and just gravitate like that. Now let's get ourselves a little further. So one E and a two E and a three, okay. Am I in the right spot? I'm supposed to be on that downbeat on the floor tom. One E and a two. One E and a two E and a three. Sorry about that. So one E and a two E and a three and four and. So again, we're checking are we making it to each successive beat, right? Again, first note is up to the high tom. One E and a two. Two is to the floor tom. One E. A two E and a three. Three is to the floor tom also. Okay, let's keep going. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Oh, okay, four would be back up to that high tom, but I'm actually going to come back now to the snare drum on that note. Okay, because that's what we decided to do within the pattern. Come back to the snare for the four beats of B four. So as four E and a one E and a two. that's going to all work out and we're going to
of come back to that snare drum on beat four. And again, you know, go slow with all of this. It takes a little while for it to sink in with the brain, okay? After a while, it's like, it'll become routine. Um, it might not feel it right now, but it will become routine for you, okay? So. experimenting and maybe do the pattern in a different way around the drum set, right? Then we could tag those notes with our bass line and over to that hi-hat with the bass line too. It'll coordinate your left side a little bit for you, okay? So one hand up, two hand up, three hand up, four hand up, or four hand up. Do you want to go back to that ride for the last note there? Or maybe, and again, maybe I always do this with students. Let them get that far, and then they play around with that fourth beat. Give that little end point a little creative twist of your own, okay? You make it whatever you want to play. Okay, as little examples for you, okay? So again, um, have some fun with that. Remember that pattern takes a little while. Check yourself on your, your foot pattern. Make sure you're on that beat one, two, three, and four, okay? And um, it's a beautiful little idea, and we can start tweaking it still, okay? We'll start to double some notes. You know, as little examples, just little ideas to look uh, uh, forward to in an upcoming lesson. Okay, everybody, keep working hard. Be diligent about your learning. I'm sure you're all doing fantastic. Send me a little comment here and there. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, what I can help you with, okay? Because that's the bottom line. I want you to become better drummers and have the fun that I have with this instrument. And I think you're getting there. Okay, everybody, have a great evening. Rock on.